Good evening, I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. Justice Secretary Menard de Guevara warns local government officials could be held administratively, administratively and criminally liable if they refuse to accept the returning 24,000 OFWs to their hometowns. In a text message, Guevara says the president has already given instructions to all LGUs to accept repatriated OFWs to their provinces. He adds that defying this directive is a violation of the Bayanihan Act. He also directed the National Prosecution Service to prioritize cases related to the implementation of the Bayanihan Act and other measures related to the government's COVID-19 response. COVID-19 cases in the Philippines surpassed the 15,000 mark. The Health Department records 380 new cases, bringing the national total to 15,049. 18 people died from the disease in the last 24 hours, raising the death count to 904. Meanwhile, 94 people recovered today for a new total of 3,506 3 recoveries. And here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The House Committee on Labor and Employment approves a draft bill for a 35-hour workweek scheme as an alternative work arrangement for employees in the private sector. The bill states that employers can opt for the setup for their workers. Companies should also provide a written information or written information stating the terms and conditions of the 35-hour workweek scheme. And the World Health Organization advises Filipinos to stay home as it has not seen a rapid drop in COVID-19 cases in the Philippines, even with strict quarantine protocols. The WHO stressed that the importance of staying home and practicing preventive measures as the country is set to ease restrictions. U.S. President Donald Trump accused social media company Twitter of interfering with the U.S. elections. This was after Twitter labeled two of his tweets unsubstantiated for the first time. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Sean Yao, and we are One News.